the final type of interconnection we are required to understand is cascade interconnection and the two networks are said to be in cascade interconnection when the output of the first network is the input of the second network and therefore we will join the first terminal of the output port of NA to the first terminal of the input port of NB. So we will join these two terminals and we will also join these two terminals and for better understanding I will extend the remaining four terminals and you can see that now we have one larger two port network and uh, let's say the input voltage of the overall network is V1 the output voltage is V2 the input current of the overall network is I1 and the output current is I2 and uh, you can see that voltage V1 is equal to voltage V1A V1 is equal to V1A and you can see that I1 is equal to I1A current I1 is equal to current I1A moving further we can see that voltage V2A is equal to voltage V1B voltage V2A is equal to voltage V1B and the current I2A is equal to negative of current I1B they are in the same wire but in opposite direction so current I2A is equal to negative of current I1B moving further we can see that voltage V2B is equal to voltage V2 V2B is equal to V2 and finally we can see that current I2B is equal to I2 current I2B is equal to current I2 now taking V1 equal to V1A and I1 equal to I1A we can have the matrix form and uh, we will have 1 2 by 1 matrix equal to another 2 by 1 matrix and this matrix will have the elements V1 and I1 voltage V1 and current I1 and this matrix will have the elements V1A and I1A voltage V1A and current I1A and if you have followed the lectures on ABCD parameters or transmission parameters then you will understand that we can write this matrix equal to the product of T parameters matrix of network NA and 2 by 1 matrix having the elements V2A and I2A so in the next step we will write this matrix as it is V1 I1 and on the right hand side we will have T parameters matrix of network NA multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix with elements V2A and I2A and uh, we know that in case of T parameters the convention is different for the output current the convention is the output current will leave the two port network but uh, here you can see that current I2A is entering the two port network so we will put negative sign here now you can see that V2A is equal to V1B in place of V2A we can write voltage V1B and the current I2A is equal to negative of I1B so in place of minus I2A we will have I1B so in the next step we will have the same matrix on the left hand side V1 and I1 are the two elements and on the right hand side we will have matrix TA 
multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements V1B and I1B, V1B and I1B. And uh, we know we can write this matrix equal to the product of T parameters matrix of network NB and uh, 2 by 1 matrix having the elements V2B and I2B with negative sign. So in the next step we will keep the matrix on the left hand side as it is and on the right hand side we will have T parameters matrix of network NA multiplied to T parameters matrix of network NB multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix having the elements V to B and negative of current I to B. Now you can see that voltage V to B is equal to voltage V2. So in place of V to B we will write V2 and the current I to B is equal to I2. So in place of I to B we will write I2 and therefore we can replace minus I to B by minus I2. So the final matrix form will be 2 by 1 matrix with elements V1 and I1 equal to matrix TA multiplied to matrix TB multiplied to 2 by 1 matrix with elements V2 and minus I2. And uh, we know this is the matrix form of the two equations we will have for the larger network. And the two equations are the equations we have for T parameters. And uh, finally, we can conclude that the overall network will have the T parameters matrix equal to the T parameters matrix of first network multiplied to T parameters matrix of second network. So I will write this final conclusion. This is the T parameters matrix of the overall network and it will be equal to the product of T parameters matrix of first network and T parameters matrix of second network. Remember this important result. Due to this reason, T parameters or transmission parameters or cascade parameters are very important and useful. And uh, there is one thing you have to keep in your mind. The multiplication of the matrices should be performed in the order networks are connected. So this is all for this lecture and I hope you now understand what is cascade interconnection of two port networks. And uh, if you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. And now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.